Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Spin Adventures. My name is Master Spins, and welcome back to another episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on Spade Gals Productions. We've got a bunch of gaming stuff, such as this game and many other games that you guys can check out in the playlist information button and end screen. But this is not the only channel that has content going on it. We also have Spade Gals Original, which has script stories such as Girl of Cyclone, Quincor, and Flori, and of course we have a bunch of vlogs, so you guys can find out more about me in like, you know, some personal stories, and you know, just on that kind of a different plane of existence, I guess, but, <laughs> so make sure you guys go check that out, um, I have no idea what's gonna happen this episode, um, well, I do, we're gonna raid a mountain, but if you did miss the last episode, make sure to check that out, because it was super cool, so let's get started with a, a, start. Yeah, I'm, like, just woken up, and yesterday we did the giant, like, stream ganza, pretty much, for me. I've never done so much streaming before, I've done... I've done a lot of recording in one day, but that you can just be like, okay, well, I need, like, a 30-minute break, and I can just sit back and, you know, write my stories or just watch some YouTube. But, like, yesterday was pretty much full-on, <laughs> full-on, like, stream mode for the most part after, after one. Wait, what? Where? Ah, okay. The camera was just facing weird. Do we have a good weapon on... You know what, I wonder, can I actually hit one of them from here? <clears throat> nope. Could I maybe throw a bomb? Maybe? No, that's definitely not going to work. I mean, I can still explode it, though. Oh, it can be good distraction. Nice, nice concept, nice concept. Okay, so let's see. What weapon do I want to use? I mean, I don't want to use any of the, like, this yet. And I don't want to use this too much, but the boomerang is really cool. I kind of have to use this. And I, like, never use the shield, to be honest. There's not really much of a point in me having it. And the bow, we don't really have, like, any arrows anyway, so. Okay, there we go. Nice and dandy. Oh, you're, you're angry. Oh, yep, you're, you're angry. You're angry. Okay. Yep, you are, you are definitely angry about this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I just wanted to give you a nice surprise party. Okay? Like, calm down, mate. Okay, okay, I could... Drop this here. Yeah, go for it, go for it, go for it! Yeah, <laughs> you went for it! Hey, how, how did that feel? How did that fire feel? Oh, well that was sad. Um, all of his stuff- Ow, I'm on fire. On fire. Okay. Um, okay, maybe not the best idea. But it was an idea. <laughs> How many of the other arrows? Yeah, I just have nine arrows. Okay, great. Hi! Don't worry, I didn't just blow up your friend. No, no, that's not something to worry about. No. Don't be angry. Hey, it's okay, your weapon just burned. <laughs> That's on you, bud. That is totally on you. You're the one who went over and set it on fire. So don't come crying to me when all of a sudden you're like, Oh man, I want to hit this guy. But it's it's all... It's all gone. My, my weapon is dead. You know, don't come crying to me when that happens. Because you're the one who's trying to attack me. Well, I came over to attack you first. I mean, I guess when you think about it, technically we are the guilty party. 
But if you just walk over and you're just like, hi, how you doing? I, I brought some, I brought some casserole. I brought you a pot roast. They're like, we already had dinner. Ah, and they start attacking you. So you know what? They kind of deserve. I mean, I don't know. Do they really deserve to be just shrugged off as, as we just pillage their, their little campsite? Maybe. Let me know in the comments. Do you think, do you think they had it coming, or do you think we might have been a little bit rude in just raiding their campsite? You know, because they hadn't done anything wrong just yet. But they would have. So, let me know, let me know what you guys think. And, oh, look at that grass. Oh, there's just... It survived? Well, that's, uh... Hits uh, an enemy's skull and it breaks. It's a... <laughs> it's like 50 feet down. Nope, perfectly fine. Okay, I'm exaggerating. That's... That's a good at least, like... Actually, no, maybe I'm not exaggerating. That's a good... That's a good length. I know there's going to be somebody in the comments that's just like, it's 244 centimeters times squared, or something like really scientific. What is this pose? He looks like a cat. <laughs> He's like, I will get you birds. I will get you. He, he was a cat that somehow turned into a Mexican wrestler. Great. <laughs> just dandy. Is there anything over here? Look, it's the moon. How pretty. Yep, but unlike in Adventure Battle 2, it's completely not blown up. <laughs> but this is a completely different series. I'm telling you, in those in the live streams that I did, I referenced that game a lot. I mean, I love the game, but man, I referenced it a lot. Ooh, blue rupee. Anything under here? Rock, you are a disappointment. For being for being a giant disappointment. Oh. Well, that's not going to be as dramatic. But, hey, maybe there's... Does this lead off to a cliff? Yes, it does. Shrine nearby. It means, like, right here? Like, right here, when I go over... Okay, I guess I'll just stamp where... I am and put put a star there or something. Are there? It says there's like over a hundred you can put. So I don't know. I'll put a star there, and after we pillage this, <laughs> we we raid the mountain. Let's raid Death Mountain. You know that that was a good movie. Have you guys seen Death Mountain? Mountain. That that was a movie that I saw when I was um I was in middle school. I was sleeping over a friend's house, and they were like, hey, we're going to go see a movie, and we're going to go watch um, Death Mountain. And it ended up being really cool. I don't talk to the friend anymore. I think that was the first... Well, excuse me. That was the first time I saw... Um, it was either, like, Vin Diesel or Dwayne Johnson. Does anybody else get those two confused? I don't know. I, I think they look alike. I... That's not even me trying to be like, you know, let's start, let's start something. No, that's, <laughs> I honestly just think they, they look alike for whatever reason. And you, you go ahead and you just fire that while I just gather all this stuff. Like how I'm just like, oh, hey, whatever, you're here. Let me just throw a barrel at you. Go away. You're being annoying. And whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay, only I can do that. Only I can do that. When you do that, it's uncalled for. And let me let me just take let me just take your arm. Okay? I'm gonna bash you over the skull with it. I'm gonna take your arm. I'm just gonna destroy you with it. Okay? No, no. I'm just going I'm going to make your life painful. There you go. I mean you're a skeleton, but you know. And then I'll just I'll just throw this. Boom. Bye. <laughs> and you know what? Just for just for tickles and giggles, I'll throw this at you too. Or no, I'll throw I'll throw this at you. Because that makes sense. 
Oh, great. He grabbed the other guy's hat. <laughs> Professional. Professional. <laughs> He's just like, let me just grab your arm. And sorry if I got silent. That Excuse me. But no, you are just... Go get out of here, dude. Go buy a hobby. Oh, wow. You have to kill all of them for it to actually kill them. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Okay, well, if you didn't know, now you know. Also, I did want to start a campfire, so let me get some some flint. Let me just drop this and make this a spark, because we have, like, no fire. And then, let's see here. Is there a weapon I don't care about that's metal? I mean, I have a sword that I need to use, so. Wow, it wasn't close enough. <laughs> How to waste all of your flint. Just be me. Honestly. You know what, just in case, nah. Nah, I still have one more. There we go, I was just not close enough. Okay, what should we cook? We haven't cooked in a long, long time. Okay, well, I do feel like we need some spice. Let's do this, this, and I'm probably going to regret this, but hey, why not? <laughs> Apple, a pepper, and some honey. It's got to make something, right? I mean, it sounds like something that would be... Hun-eyed apple. My, my. Okay, we'll hold two of those, and we'll grab a mushroom and some herbs. And who knows, maybe, I don't know what it'll cook, but I'm hoping it cooks something nice. I don't know, hopefully something with cold resistance, yes. That is a lot of hearts, too. Okay, let's grab two of those and some meat and throw that in, and that should make some, like, spicy meat. Spicy meat. Is spicy meat good? Is that, is that, like, a thing, like, a spicy pepper steak? I, probably, um, but I have not actually, um, like, I'm not, I'm not a big spice person. I don't know, I just don't, I just don't like spice. I mean, take, take that however you want, but I'm just not a fan of spicy stuff. Oh, we can skip the animation, I didn't know that, okay, interesting. Yes. Okay, great. But we got some uh, we got some good stuff. Okay, let's hold let's get some a pumpkin, mushroom, and an apple. <laughs> it's just it's just an interesting combination that I feel like would work. I did not think we'd be cooking right now, but ooh. Oh, that gave us some defense. Nice pumpkin. Nice. Okay, let's hold some steak and let's get, let's see here, is there anything good? Let's get some raw primed meat and, you know what, let's put some milk in there. You know, milk and meat, that sounds like a great combination. <laughs> it still worked though, it still worked. Has anybody tried putting milk on, on that because that would be great? Not really. Um, okay. Well, I feel like we should cook stuff like the zap shroom. I feel like that would be good. Maybe I should have added a few more things, like a few more mushrooms, just to strengthen it up. But, dang, that's good. That's good. Okay. Stand a mushroom. Okay, holding, holding those. I do want to get more stanima stuff, because honestly, we never have stanima on us. And it's such... It's such a bad thing that we never have stanima. Okay, I'm just gonna cook two. Skip that. Oh, it's like the same amount of time though, so it doesn't really doesn't really matter all that much. <laughs> but we can we can skip the animation. Okay, it's a bit faster, sure. Okay. And I wonder if you can I wonder if you can like stack effects. I don't think you can though. But that would be cool. That would definitely be cool. Um, and I'm sorry if you guys aren't a big fan of cooking or whatever. It's not very easy to 
come up with commentary. Oh, acorns. And let's let's get some some milk. Also, that hearty radish looks like it would work good for something. Okay, there we go. Acorns, milk, and I should I should have added like a flower. What what is this gonna make? Just regular milk. Hmm, acorn milk sounds sounds pretty cool. I could I could go for some good. Some good defense. <laughs> Let's just throw five iron drums in there and just be like, bulk up. Bulk up. Be defensive. Dang. Times three with four minutes. That could be really good on a boss battle. That could be really, really good on a boss battle. Keep it. We, we need to keep that in mind. That I could have used that in, in quite a few boss battles, honestly. Yeah, and if you guys have any... Um, any knowledge of different recipes for the mob droppings, just let me know. Just honestly let me know. A, some haste. Some haste in his step. That's quite the hasty step. Okay, and let's do one more. Let's do a fleet lotus, a hearty radish, some wheat, and some milk. Cause why not? Cause we be in festive out in here. And we have one more flint, so I can cook more more things. Ooh, veggie rice balls. Interesting. Interesting. But if you guys do want me to do um cooking off camera, just let me know. Um, but I can I can always like if you guys are enjoying it, I'll I'll keep it in. But I want to do that trying, if anything. Or or at least getting to it. Okay, rush room would be another good thing to have. And I know the shrine is up here. Maybe going the other way up the mountain would have been a better idea. But you know what? I'm daring. I'm festive. I'm fantastic. And can climb whatever mountain because I am Link. And I just made some Stanima stuff. So if we are about to run out, I can just pop, pop some Stanima mushroom. I don't even know. Um... But we have, we have something with Stanima. Oh, I'm, like, just gonna not make it. That sucks. Oh, yeah, we have a coconut. I forgot about the coconut. Um, but whatever. I'll cook that later. No, that's not. That's too good, though. That's the thing. Some of my Stanima... That's why I wanted to make, like, the mushroom skewers. Right? That's what they are? Yeah, mushroom skewer. Because the other ones are just too good. Are those just birds swarming? Oh, wow, this is actually, oh, wow, okay. Well, it's a good thing I didn't make a second one, but there's an enemy up there. Is that a Listophus? No, that's a goat. Why, why is it that every time I see a goat? You freakity deakity. If you would have done that, really, it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Anytime, I swear to you, anytime I'm climbing something, it starts raining. It honestly sucks. And what are, what are you? Should I get close to you? Yeah, you're a bird. Okay, I, I was thinking it was an animal, but I didn't want to, didn't want to risk it. But I hate that every single, I mean, I guess it would make sense that up high it would start snowing. Oh, there's got to be something here. There's got to be something here. I don't have a hammer, but honestly, I want to see things fly. I want so badly to see things freaking fly. So I'm going to equip an arm. I'm going to equip stasis. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to beat this thing to living heck. Okay, and let's see, what's a, what's a weapon that we don't really, I mean, sure, a leaf. Because why not? Yeah, watch that thing fly! Woo! <laughs> such a child. I am such a child. Honestly, might as well. Might as well, but I like, I like the physics that they have in this game. Like, the logical, makes sense cool physics. Wow, the leaf does a ton how much durability does this thing have, anyway? And goodbye, rock. You know, I just, I just feel like this would have something, something in it. 
you know, it just looks like one of those things where if you just beat everything away, it would have something. But maybe not. No, no. I just want to use stooshes because it sounds fun. Yeah, goodbye, rock. Oh, nothing happened. Well, I'm a bit disappointed. Dang it, it's rain now. It's rain now. God bless. Okay. Just, just bless it. <laughs> oh, boy. Because, see, now, when we climb, it's going to be slippery. That's the problem. See, that's the problem I have. I can't, like, that's the only thing. And anytime it's like, the only thing that I can do right now is climbing. That is the only thing I can do in the rest of this episode. And it's like, oh, okay, so we're going to make it rain. And it's super annoying when it does that. And I hate when it does that. Oh, is this a Korok? Yay, it's a Korok! I was right! You can find things in, like, really bizarre places in this game. Honestly, I'm not gonna find all of those. There's no way. I'd be lucky to actually complete the game, much less find all the Koroks, to be honest with you. Okay, Link. There's no reason to stress out because we have some Scanima stuff. Okay, Link? So just stay calm. You're just on a mountain with a lot of precipitation. <laughs> so just stay calm because we will eventually get to the top. One way or another. I mean, we did have to use some glide, though, so that does kind of stink. Okay, I'm going to have to... Yeah, I'm going to have to use it. Shoot. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. What is this other one, now? Okay, okay, we do still have two fulls. And that's gonna bring us to half, so, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We're, like, just under the limit. We're just above the limit of, hey, you're about to be freezing. Which is so good, because in the, um, the episode where we fought the dragon, if you guys remember... We we were going to just we were pretty much screwed. Oh man. Oh man, I gotta use one of these now. Well oh, shoot. Oh well. It should this should hopefully be enough to get us up, but if it's not, we do still have one more. Stanima goes a lot quicker than than one would think. You know, when I think about it, I probably should have just put on um on the climbing hood that I had. I didn't even think about it. And let's just jump up there. Man, just made it. Just made it. It was insane to get up here, though, so it's probably going to be even more insane to actually beat. And man. Oh, I see the shrine that it was talking about before. We can actually just glide over there after this. Which is awesome. Um, we have time. We have time to go in. We have time to go in. I just got to remember to edit. You know, fast forward through the food stuff. You know, maybe that's what I should do. I just I just need to get in that zone of actually editing things. But then I can just make some fast forwarding stuff for for the meals. How, how does that sound? Because <laughs> honestly, the commentary for the meals, it's just not, it's not as easy. I don't know. Maybe it's a lot better than I think. But then in these videos, I always mention my commentary, which just makes it worse. What is this? What? <laughs> I'm not sure I understand. Pick. What? Wait, wait, wait. We have to get... Oh, and that's going to do something. Each one, each one of those things over there is going to do something. I see. So if we take one of those out, it's going to affect something else, and then we put it somewhere else, and then it's going to do more. So it's going to, like, have another elevator going up and down or something. Okay, I get it. I get it. Makes sense. What do I do here, though? Is there any reason I'm up here? Or is this just to, like, escape out the land? Okay, this is just to escape out of land. Um, this looks more like it's a combination lock, though. 
Is this really, like, just a freaking combination lock? Oh, 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 I didn't even realize this was here. I just thought maybe, maybe, it, whoa. Whoa, are you serious? Look at that thing. Yo, look at that thing. It's even better than the freaking Frost Spear and the Silver Longsword. It's a freaking katana. Yes, but I got to keep the Pirate Sword, unfortunately. Oh, and uh, one of my one of my friends is playing some Minecraft, so that's cool. That's cool. But I'm playing I'm playing Zelda, mate. I'm playing Zelda. I'll be honest with you. Okay, so what if what would happen if I just take this out and then place it like here? That's the biggest question. What if I just throw this in there? You know, it'll be like ski ball. Come on, fall in. There we go. You know, maybe I should actually read the, the scroll, though, instead of just placing everything in a random spot and see what happens. It's going to be like, do you see where everything is set? Yeah, move it all to, like, the left or something. Okay, the shrine atop of these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other question. Commit to memory before you start. Lest to fail, you will depart. Wait, wait, wait. So we have to go to something else to find what the key is. Are you kidding me? Okay, the shrine atop of these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other question. But what, what exactly is there a memory of? Commit to memory before you start, lest to fail, you will depart. That's honest, honestly, really, I climbed all this way for that, really. I don't know, maybe there's some kind of, I like how there's like a memory thing you can actually, like saying, hey, you've already seen this. Is there like anything, though, that shows, I mean, there's, there's that, I, I want to say, no, no, that was, that wasn't where the dragon was. That's a different place. Um, no. I'm not seeing anything that would be on top of a mountain. I'm just not seeing it. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I know it's saying, like, hey, you're gonna fail if you don't find whatever you're looking for. But, whatever. Whatever. It's probably one of those stupid things where it's different per, like, each game. Yeah, I'm just curious of what this all is gonna... Yeah, it's literally just a combination lock. That's actually kind of annoying. That's actually kind of annoying. I don't know. There's gotta be something. I'll... You know what? Maybe after this video I'll look it up. But at least, at least we know what it is. You know, we could, we activate it though. We activated it so we can always travel back to it. So there's at least, there's at least that to always go back to. I'm a little disappointed we couldn't get a shrine done though. Man. And just to make sure, before I do anything rash, can I, can I travel back? I can. Twin memories. So, with that being said... Okay, so if we find something else that says twin memories, maybe... Maybe we'll find... we'll find it. Okay, so what... where else could it be on this mountain? Maybe? I can put another star on there. And what what if we go to that that mountain on the other side? Is there a shrine over there? Because if there's a shrine over there, I like how it's saying like, hey, go over here. Oh, there's something suspicious up here though. So I wonder. But see, the other thing, the other thing is, 
the one that's across, you'd think that that's got to be it. Oh, here's a little front. I'm just going to take that apple. I feel so bad when I do that. I'm just like, yeah, let me just take your pride and joy and happiness. Oh, that's the one I was seeing. No, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, that's that's the one I was seeing. Okay, so there's there's the next shrine we're going to try to go to, which is cool. But the other thing is... See, I have a feeling that maybe... Oh, we're on the Dueling Peaks. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> you know, there's got to be... There's going to be a memory around here somewhere then. So I'll, I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, maybe it's got to be on here though. Twin twin memories. Twin memories. There's got to be something here then. But I forget which one this was. I figure I figure it would have like the same name though. Like it would also be called like, "Hey, twin memories, twin memories." And then it would be like, "Oh, cool." But I think this one's just called Travel. But this is this is across from it though. So that's the other question. But I there's one over there that I haven't been to. Is it possible that there's another one on a random mountain that I just don't know about that's also called Twin Memories? I mean, sure that could be possible or we just have to find out on that mountain. Yeah, cuz this was something completely different. Yeah, timing is crisis. That's what this one was. And I completely remember this one. So I don't know. I have no idea then. Well, if anybody has the answer, please let me know. Um I'll try to I'll try to figure it out at some point, but I think next episode I'm going to focus on going to that next shrine and then um we'll come back and try to Try to see if we can figure it out. And it, after that, if I can't figure it out, I might need to just look it up, to be honest with you. But that does... What are those? What are those things? Oh, oh, nope. Those aren't... Those are enemies. Those are things we don't want to deal with. Okay, that's interesting. There's like... Do you guys see how there's a little yellow dot? Does that mean we haven't completed it yet? Maybe. Okay, so that's the top of it. And that's where I put, that's where I put like the stamp. But I didn't see anything on that mountain, so. But that's, see, that's the other thing. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. Because I feel like they wouldn't just have three shrines that close together. Um... I mean, sure, it's in, like, the beginning outer area, but it's still, I don't know. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share the video with everybody you know and love, and also your iguanas, because that is just amazing. Um, I've got Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you want any updates or to give me any hints, uh, that would be a great place to uh, do that, would be Twitter. So make sure to... Uh, Make sure to do that because that would help me out tremendous. Um. Okay. Well, I think this is it. I guess we'll find out in next episode as we climb the shrine. Let's just at least do that. Uh, but. We'll be doing that in the next episode because I already did the outro, and I'll see you guys then. Bye!